I'm Jenny and I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing a live workshop on Wednesday the 19th of May at 6 o'clock in the evening for an hour and it's all about having fun with acrylics. I'm going to be showing you loads of different techniques and I'm going to be using the latest Art Gecko acrylic sketch pad and I absolutely love this. I've got my hands on it here. Let's have a look at it. It's gorgeous. I'm very excited. Um, the paper is fantastic. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. I'm going to talk about what I'm going to be doing as well. But first of all, let me just sort of introduce introduce myself a bit. So I'm Jenny, Jenny Moncaster, and I work from the Colour Factory Artist Studios down in Winchester in Hampshire. And it's a real creative hub. And there's six other artists here. We all work together, working on our practice, and we do workshops and teaching and have classes, and we love sharing our passion for art. Now, as a professional artist, the kind of work that I do would be big canvases for hotels and restaurants, and, um, and also sort of smaller bespoke um, paintings to commission. And what I love doing is kind of breaking down the painting process and then what I can do is share some of those little tips and tricks that I've learned along the way in all the classes and the workshops and the demos that I do and I love it because it kind of makes painting so much more accessible and the workshop that I'm going to be doing I promise you you do not need to be an artist you don't need to be professional you don't need to be able to draw or paint to do this anyone can do it and have a go and have fun it's really really brilliant because what I'm going to be doing is using process-led techniques, so little step-by-step -step fun techniques with acrylics. So this is the paper here. I'm absolutely loving this. I'm going to just flip the cover over. Now, you might not be able to pick up on this, but one thing is unique about this new um, sketch acrylic paper. I love it. It's got this incredible kind of texture to it, like a fine cord. It's really distinctive, really, really beautiful. And um, you might not see it without any paint on it, but when you paint on it, it really comes out. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to be layering loads of acrylic techniques on the paper and showing you step by step how to do work a little bit like this. And as I say, loads of layering techniques with um, acrylics and all sorts of different ways of putting pattern and colour and texture on there. Just, just really, really good fun. So the texture of the paper is going to come out, but also what's brilliant about the Art Deco pad, it's so robust, and I love chucking a bit of paint and effect at the paper, and this, I promise you, this can take it, it's brilliant. So it's going to have a load of paint chucked at it, I'm going to be using all sorts of things to create um, lovely colour and pattern effects. So some of the techniques that I use in my own work, so something a bit like that, now, how would I start? Well, I've got a piece of paper taped down onto some um, cardboard here, and I've got a smaller one that I've done already. This is kind of like the first part of the technique, and it's playing around with water techniques and acrylics, really easy to do, Splish, splashing it on, and using sponges to rub colour on. So tune in on that 19th, and I'll show you how to do this. So that's the first part. I love that, and we could just leave our... Um, paper like that that's a good fun technique to use but no I like to add more and more and more and layer it all up so then I'd have a little play around on some more paper using all sorts of different things to make marks and textures and uh, things like what have I got in here I've got some grouting tools they're really good to make marks with different sizes a bit of old insulating foam to print with I've got card um, little dabbers uh, a skeleton leaf makes a good uh, print, so all sorts of things that you can print with, oh, look, even a bit of uh, rope, that makes a good print. And stencils, I use stencils a lot as well in the work, so you can see some stencil work here. Palette knives, pushing acrylic paint through, and all these different techniques we can layer up on our background surface, and create some really interesting things. So playing around like that, literally just having a go, having fun, kind of being experimental, not worrying about the outcome. And I call it the power of accident. And I think that's quite important. And that's how a lot of artists um, come up with new ideas is be prepared to make some mistakes. Um, what else have we got? Look, I've got some more pieces here as well. 
really lovely techniques using layering with acrylics and sponges and I've even got some oil pastels in there I forgot about that I've got some interesting mark making with the oil pastels which is even picking up on that fine texture of the paper that kind of almost makes it look like a print I love that and then what I've done I'm going to go into more detail on the workshop so you've got to come back on the 19th of May and, and come and see the workshop and, uh, and I'll show you step by step how to do this but I'm using a little bit of low tack tape to tape my paper down and what I love about this is when you peel away you get this amazing edge a bit like a print but I've got so much here to show you but come and join me on the workshop and I'll show you step by step how to do this now under here somewhere all under all this clobber look I've got some little off cuts as well of my experiments and these are really lovely and you could even make some cards out of them so some really unusual kind of unique cards honestly you can add your own flavor to the art to the artwork that you do and anyone can do it well i hope that's inspired you i'm really excited and i can't wait for you to join me live on wednesday the 19th of may at six o'clock for the acrylics workshop it's going to be a lot of fun i'll see you then